Okay. So I've been looking for more HP mini type computers and I happened to come across this is one of their thin clients it's the T630 uh, this particular unit came out in 2017 and I picked up I actually got two of them uh, came as kind of a, I guess a pair um, and which is good because I'm going to show this one now and then later I'm going to show how I was able to take it and add a second network port to it. So just some basics on this guy. Uh, it's using what's known as an embedded AMD GX 420 GI chip. That's uh, four core. Four core, <laughs> and um, you can put up to 32 gig of memory, a DDR4. This unit, when it was sold originally, came with two uh, four gig sticks and a 128 uh, gig uh, SSD M.2 SSD. No Wi-Fi in this particular unit, but it does. Um, but I'll going to show some of the features that it does have. This is kind of a rep. What gives you an idea of the size of the unit in comparison to a normal sort of elite desk type size. So it's, it's you know, this one could probably fit inside of this one. Let's start with the front. Normally you're going to put this unit, you know, standing up. Kind of like this. Because um, all of the markings and such you know the hp is is right here and so forth so on the front we've got two uh 2.0 usb and two 3.0 usb you've got the you know your normal kind of headset jack here uh power button on the back we've got a real tech network connection PS2 uh, for um, both the mouse and the keyboard uh, for those that are still using PS2. And for those that are, have their ancient um, mice that use the serial interface, we've got that. We've got two display ports, 3.0 ports. We've got a, a VGA. We've got a, a sound input and the power. Now what's nice about the power is that it uses the same um, 65 watt power supply, the 19.5, 3.33 amp that you would find with everything else, uh, you know, as far as your other units on there. Uh, let's see, nothing around the side. You get the HP logo. One kind of cool thing is that on these units, if you, there's a little latch here, you pull it out, and it shows you the information on the unit in terms of um, serial number, uh, warranty. Uh, it's got this kind of uh, um, sort of the cryptic code in terms of saying that this was a, when it shipped, it was a Win, Windows 10 unit, uh, 8 gig. This actually uses a special version of Windows 10 called uh, 20, Windows 10 2016 LTSB. And what's kind of neat about it is that it actually is has support all the way through 2026. I believe I've seen on some where if it has the Wi-Fi, you're going to have Wi-Fi info showing up here. Okay, let's uh, crack it open and uh, see what we've got on the inside. What you need to do for this one is on the back, there's this little latch. Put your nail into there, and it's going to take this face plate. And then right here, there's a little latch. You may be able to see where it, it, it's got the lock unlock symbol. Put it to the side. Oops. Okay. Then you'll put it here. One thing with all of, at least the ones that I've encountered so far with the um, thin clients is that 
the cover always seems to take off anything that has the HP on it. So you pull it toward yourself, and then you can pop off the top. First thing you'll notice is that this is does not have a fan. Um, just this giant heat sink uh, to cool the CPU. You've got your uh, dual channel memory here. Can take up to 32 gig of memory, uh, DDR4. It's got very interesting. I, what I did is I threw in here, but this is actually an internal USB port. So I've put just a, a dongle for use as a, a Wi-Fi in here. It supports. Uh, you can only put M.2 SATA, uh, the the, uh, the ones with the you know two little notches. But you'll notice here you can put in what does that be a uh, a twenty two. 42, a 2260, and a 2280 in this slot. And then this one will just take the uh, 2242. Um, got a deal back when on, on a bunch of these, and so I've been using these. This is just a 60 gig in here. When some of the units shipped, this was pretty small. I mean, I've seen some where they were selling, they were only like 16 gig on this. But as mentioned before, it looks like the specs on this one had a uh, 2280, uh, 128 gig on here. Um, you've got your connector. This area down on this side, supposedly you could get um, other modules that would um, uh, you know, replace this and you could do, you, I, I think it even came with a different faceplate. I've seen ones where it's a uh, dual fiber uh, adapter it fits inside, this is where the normally the Wi-Fi would go. It fits in here, and then it would come out the, the back. This is actually where we're going to put the, um, the second network adapter. Because this is a Realtek, this guy. And I wanted to try seeing if I could put the Intel one. This would be the one that I've used on uh, a pretty recent video where I added the, a second network port to a G3 and I tried using the old one that uh, as far as the adapter that worked with the G4 G5 it just wouldn't see it so I stuck in the other guy and it saw it right away so um, uh, I'll sh we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more I was able to install Windows 11 on this it seemed to have some issues with some missing drivers, um, firmware, and so forth. So what I did instead was install the actual Windows 10 Enterprise uh, that comes with it. You have to use um, special software from HP uh, in order to download and get it set up. I'm, I'm thinking of having a separate video where I show how that works because it works with all of their uh, thin clients the same way. It's definitely not a speed demon. I'll show some um, comparisons of this unit with some of the older, even like the G1 Elite Desk in terms of overall speed. But if you're looking for something that doesn't draw a lot of juice, uh, this is kind of nice. Um, just in normal idle, when you bring up Windows, it's about 6 watts. And even at its heaviest, it's 24 watts, so that's pretty nice. And then um, in sleep mode, it's about like 0.7 watt. As far as temperatures, even at heavy load, the most I could really get out of it as far as temperature was maybe around 33, 34, uh, which is pretty nice. And then normal, when it starts up, it's in the low 20s. So considering what type of temperatures you're going to get on your elite desks, where when it's on a heavy load, you're talking more like in the 50, 60, you know, range. So it's kind of nice if you were looking maybe uh, something you could use next to the TV, etc. that maybe would low juice and also, you know, no fan. So it's going to be quiet. Um, and it looks kind of nice. I mean, it, 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 it is a little bit bigger, uh, but it does have some nice expandability. The, um, the Windows 10 that comes with it. One nice thing with it is that it will not install any updates unless you put them on there. You actually have to go through a whole different process, and that would be in one of my follow-up videos on how to get there. So if you want 
to make sure that your system always stays the same. This might be something that, you know, that you could consider in terms of it. Um, it they're, they're pretty inexpensive. I wouldn't spend a whole lot for them. There are a lot of these out there. If you can get it uh, pretty cheap, uh, you know, maybe get some uh, a cheap 2242 to throw in there. Or, if, you know, I guess, you, again, you could put the 2280. Um, if you can get it with already memory, mine came with uh, two four gig sticks, which was nice. It pretty much for what they charge for this um, it was pretty much the same price as just even buying the memory. So that was kind of nice. OK, let's talk about how I was able to add a second network port to the other unit. And what I ended up doing was first taking out the VGA port. Um, you can just unscrew these. That will take out the actual um, uh, port. And then what you want to do here is that it's connected on here. Just take this off. This whole thing will just pop right out. And then, then it's, you know, nice and open. Uh, one thing I did have to do, though, is, let's see if you're able to see it, but there are two little metal tabs on both sides here, okay? And what I ended up having to do was I just grabbed them, and I just kind of jimmied them back and forth until they just snapped off. Now, I know I've said on, on uh, prior videos, I don't like to change um, units uh, because I might, uh, you know, come back to them. And uh, I agree that was, you know, probably, but since I got two of them, I would, I would go with it. Now, one thing I ended up also doing was taking this off. It's held on with pretty strong adhesive. Um, as it turned out, I didn't need to, and I'll show you on the other unit that it would have fit. Um, the Wi-Fi card or the adapter that is used with the G4, G5 is very wide and it would not have fit until I took that off. The one that works with the G3 is nice and narrow and fits right within these little, you know, sort of white lines here. So I didn't have to do that, but I still had to, um, take off those um, two little tabs that you see right there that you're feeling. And what I also had to do was on the back of the faceplate, this guy I had to take off too, because otherwise it would push up against everything. But this kind of just came, popped right off. This is what it looks like when it's off. Okay, so let's show you what the other one looks like. Here's the second one, and you can kind of see the end product. And what's also nice with this one is that you actually do have the indicator lights. Um, I really should have tested that other one or this other adapter first before going through, because you notice here I tore this off and, and I really didn't need to uh, because it, it wouldn't have been crouched in there. I might, um, I don't know, maybe put some... Uh, adhesive to put that back on. And then I did remove the uh, cable from here. So just screwed in, added that guy there. You then have to turn this upside, upside down. And it, it's a pretty tight feet fit, but it will lodge in there. And then you can put um, I guess these stays or connectors back on and when you screw them in it will screw in and hold this whole unit So it's pretty nice and then because this is pretty flexible. You can just lay that down and you're fine. I put this back on and Then this goes right back on pretty nicely um, But you do need to take off those um, So you notice here where I've taken out the, the little metal let me put the top back on this and we'll set it up and um, I can show you that, you know, prove that we got both of the uh, um, network ports running. Uh, just if you're curious, you know, how put, putting everything back on. So I laid it back, the, the top back on, I push and that locks there. Put the lock back on. 
faceplate. It's got two little notches and then it just sort of lays in there and snaps in. Uh, unfortunately, this one, the little undo, the little latch uh, snapped on me. That wasn't the result of doing the um, network. It just happened beforehand. So, okay, let's, uh, let's try it out. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Now, one thing you'll notice, and this seemed to happen on both units, there's not really an indicator light. You know, a lot of them, this part, the light will go on. And so when I first got this, I thought there was a problem. And I kept pushing it and pushing it and trying to, you know, get it to boot. Um, you might see a little bit of flashing. That's where it's actually, you know, booting up the um, into Windows. But this doesn't light up. So I don't know, maybe because it's a thin client for some reason. If we look on the back, let's see if we can get this around. We've got uh, indicator lights. This is the built-in um, network, and I don't know if we're going to see this. Ah, yeah, really hard to see, but they're right. There you go. We've got some indicator lights on there. So this guy's working too. So that looks kind of neat. Uh, let's go inside of uh, Windows. We'll switch over to the capture. And I would recommend keeping your unit like this. This part is going to get a little warm, but that's where you know, a lot of your heat's going to come out. But you notice we got, you know, ventilation all over the place. And I think if you laid it down like this, then you're going to cut off the ability for, you know, the airflow. So if you keep it up, it is a little thicker than the, um, the Elite Desk. So it, it does stay a little nicer. You can get a uh, stand for it. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. Um, you can also do, like I've done in my uh, prior videos, a little hack where you could use a, um, a, a book stand also to hold it up just to give a little stability. Okay, here we are in Windows, and we'll go and look at the, um, the networking. You notice we've got uh, two connections, Ethernet and Ethernet 2. And if we look in Device Manager, we should see under network adapters, we've got the um, Intel, which is the one we added, and of course the uh, built-in Realtek. If we go into um, the command prompt, we'll see that uh, it's got uh, 198 for the Intel, and we've got 207 for the Realtek. So we've got uh, both of them working. Here is a um, some Geekbench numbers. Right here is our uh, T630 thin client. You can look at the single core and multi-core scores. And if you were to compare it with, this is that uh, HP 300. That was that little guy that um, was kind of more uh, maybe a uh, consumer product. You can see that already that one, uh, which is an i3, is much faster. Uh, you start getting into, of course, the even the 260 G1, which was the quirky cousin, how much faster it is then. Uh, but these are all units, of course, with fans. And so conceivably, I guess you could do more in terms of the um, uh, you know, uh, speed or power of the processor. But, you know, it, it, this does work. It does do what it's supposed to do. It is four core. It does support virtualization. So you could uh, configure it for that and you could use it as a uh, Proxmox node. It is, I would say, not something for the casual user. The expandability, of course, doesn't support SATA. Uh, in terms of, of, you know, the SATA SSDs, but it does support the M.2 SATA. Uh, it's got two ports. Uh, three, if you really wanted to, you could use that Wi-Fi port. So if you want something to tinker with, it's kind of fun. I wouldn't spend a lot of money on it. I definitely would not spend, you know, um, if you can get some deal, especially if you can get you know, like a couple of them, you're probably going to spend maybe even more in shipping than you will in the actual unit. Um, it is larger. That's something to think about, you know, if you're constrained on space, uh, but it is kind of nice not having the uh, fan noise. Um, if you just want something that's just sort of there and, and kind of in, in the background.